Today's winners and losers on Wall Street, and uh, we saw the Dow and the S&P 500 uh, hit some uh, new highs early this morning. Yeah, and that's nice to be in record territory. Yes. We're in record territory because jobs have been slowly been created after the 2008 recession, the Great Recession as it's being referred to. Um, automobile sales are looking good. Manufacturing is looking pretty good. Jobs are looking okay. Uh, Russia and Ukraine are kind of cooling down a little bit. Um, oil is, is, is cheap at this point in time. So there's nothing too inflationary going on. And again, it, we're at record highs six out of 10 years. We're at all time highs seven out of 10 years, but we close six out of 10 of those years at record highs. Um, so just note, this is just normal and it's healthy and it tells you why you should put money in your 401k or your 403b in the S&P 500. Just play the markets, be part of the game. And a mortgage application is heating up. You know, I, I've tried to refi right now. I think we're all this fear that we're going to see interest rates go up pretty soon. Yeah, and again, uh, we got a big drop in the last month on interest yeah. rates because of Vladimir Putin. Um, <laughs> he probably didn't want to help the U.S. economy, but he did. Uh, by invading Ukraine and causing people to freak out, mortgage rates dropped again. And again, we keep saying, when are they finally going to go up? Uh, the 10-year Treasury sits at a very nerdy 2.4%. Um, as soon as it starts hitting 3.5%, that's when you need to start selling stocks. But 2.25%, that's, you know, the mortgage rates are just incredibly cheap at that point. 30-year fixed mortgage right now, um, about 4.25%. That's down three basis points, 4.28% last week. Um, people are refining and people are buying and they're getting good rates. And that's going to help our economy for 10, 15, 20, 30 years into the future. All right. And this is supposed to be uh, heading towards Apple's shining moment here with the big announcement coming up. And the stock slammed 4.5% today during trading. Uh, this whole hacker thing with celebrity nude photos seems to be hurting Apple. Yeah. Two big phones coming on Tuesday the 9th. Um, two new phones, one big one, one small one. Um, probably an iWatch is going to be announced. It probably won't ship until 2015. Tim Cook is launching a new product. This is supposed to be his moment. And the App Store, iTunes, the bookstore all went offline last night for a few hours. People are speculating it's tied towards the um, celebrity naked photo hack fix that they're trying to put in. They've had some problems with um, this. And this is actually really important because Apple enthusiasts for nerd uh, years, and I, maybe I called them nerds by accident, Apple nerds would always say, hey, Apple doesn't get viruses. Hey, Apple's doesn't crash. Apple Apple secure, and we've learned in the last week that's not so much the case. Yeah, and especially if their big announcement is going to include a payment system right with your phone and they've got a hacking scandal, that's a pretty bad combination, I would think. Anytime you use any payment service tied towards a phone, I always use credit cards, never use bank accounts, and never ever use debit cards. Oh, good advice. Thank you, Rob. And uh, what happened to the Hollywood blockbusters this summer? Not a great summer for Hollywood. Yeah, just three big movies Guardians of the Galaxy, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Transformers all did well. Guardians of the Galaxy, top movie of the year so far. Um, obviously for Disney, they're happy about that. Um, but some disappointments like Hercules, Edge of Tomorrow, The Expendables 3. Um, you know, when you get movies that have Sylvester Stallone, Schwarzenegger, Mel Gibson, Harrison Ford in them, you're really banking on the older person going to see movies and it's the younger people that drives the audiences. So um, not a good year. It's the worst year since 19, let's see, was it 1997? Wow, so 17 uh, years almost. Yeah, so. so 1997. And so is this just a glitch, you think? Or just do you still like these uh, these Hollywood stocks? The stocks involved. With I these think movies? Hollywood's figuring out you have to do international films and you have to do films geared to people under 35 because okay. they're the people spending the most money, especially during the summer. Um, 18 year olds. So. Okay. Thank you, Rob. And if you have a question for Rob, post on his Facebook fan page and we'll answer it here on Cron Four. We'll be right back.